Hello, I'm Dr. Benjamin Norris from the Chemistry Department at Frostburg State University. In this video, we're going to talk about the acid and base properties of alcohols. Alcohols have a similar structure to water, except that one of the hydrogen atoms has been replaced by an alkyl group. As such, we should expect alcohols to have similar acid and base properties to water. <clears throat> and so, we can expect alcohols to behave as bases in, you know, in cases where the, the other species is clearly more acidic. We can expect our alcohols to be able to <clears throat> serve as proton acceptors in mechanisms. We also can expect alcohols to behave as acids, and I'm going to spend most of the video uh, talking about the behavior of alcohols as acids. Again, having a, a product functional group, so long as we are in the presence of a suitably basic compound, alcohols can serve as bases. And, you know, both of these reactions here are actually equilibrium reactions, though um, just how far or, or to what extent the equilibrium favors one side or another is something that we can figure out once we know how to, to judge relative acidity. And, and in general, <clears throat> that's a broader topic that I'm going to cover here. What I am going to do, though, is draw for you the the first some several alcohols methanol ethanol isopropanol or, or two propanol terbutyl alcohol or two methyl two butanol and we're going to look at the pKa values of these uh, several alcohols so the pKa value of methanol is 15.5 a little bit more basic than, a little bit, yeah, a little bit less acidic than water. The pKa of ethanol is 16, the pKa of isopropanol is 16.5, and the pKa of terbutyl alcohol is 18. I don't want all these things to be aligned. Makes them look a little pretty. All right. And so we should expect alcohols to be a little bit less acidic than water. Because alcohol because alkyl groups are electron donors. Uh, and electron donors Electron donating groups are things that increase the electron density of the model, molecule. They stabilize cations, but they destabilize anions. And one of the major tools we have for evaluating relative acidity is the relative stability of the conjugate base and how stabilized that negative charge is. Well, electron donating groups destabilize negative charges. The difference, however, between the alcohols as the, the st structural complexity increases is not due to the fact that ethyl or isopropyl or terbutyl are increasingly better electron uh, withdraw or electron donating groups. There is also a steric effect. There is a steric effect in. Um, There is a steric effect in the acidity and how this works. Let's grab ethanol. And I'm, I'm drawing ethanol here in two dimensions, but let's pretend that, you know, ethanol, remember that ethanol is a three-dimensional object. Right? 
And we're actually, let's look at ethanol's conjugate base. This conjugate base is stabilized by the interaction of the interaction of our anion with hydrogen atoms on water molecules through hydrogen bonding, dipole-dipole interactions. And there are a certain number of water molecules that can fit around the ethanol molecule. Well, as the molecule gets bigger, and let's, let's just skip right over to tert butyl alcohol. As the molecule gets bigger, there are fewer water molecules that can fit closer to the anion. And that's because the tert butyl group is so large. It is in the way. And so you can't get as many water molecules close to the, the how, how, close to the, the anion to help stabilize it. So what's really going on here is that bulky groups prevent solvation of anions. And so that's why tert butyl alcohol has a higher pKa than ethanol and methanol, not because tert butyl is a better electron donor, but because tert butyl is just bigger. We can actually have alcohols with electron withdrawing groups, and those alcohols would have uh, lower pKa. So here, for example, is the structure of trifluoromethanol, or sorry, trifluoroethanol. Trifluoromethanol is not a stable compound at room temperature. The pKa of trifluoroethanol is 12.5, so it's a few pKa units lower, and that's because the trifluoroethyl methyl group, CF3, is electron withdrawing by induction. There are more fluorine atoms on there. We can imagine the pKa might be lower. So this is a video summarizing the acidity of alcohols. I'm going to follow this up with a short video summarizing the acidity of phenols and how they're different. Thank you for watching.